Can I just look at the hooks? I want the one that's gonna that's gonna really stab into the face to pull them out. Because you would think when they get slaughtered, they might tense up a little bit, eh? So basically they sell uh, fishing line and tackle with hooks and that so you can just go out and throw line into the, the ocean and drag fish out by their face and kill them. But like what would you say if I grabbed this plastic bag and just threw it in the, the water where there were some dolphins playing or some sea turtles there like you'd probably say pick that bag up you sicko that those that sea turtle's going to think it's an animal and eat it and probably die right? <laughs> but it's perfectly fine for me to throw fishing line into the ocean with a hook on the end and a sinker that drags it to the bottom it can get snagged on the bottom of the weeds at the bottom and just you just lose the whole line and then there's this plastic you know fishing line in the ocean that gets caught in the you know that fish eat or sea animals eat or gets wrapped around their neck and kills them you know what I mean like it's completely fine to have fishing nets and fishing lines in the ocean and most of the plastic in the ocean is fishing nets and it's completely socially acceptable to eat fish, but if I were to throw this in the water where a sea turtle was playing, you'd think I was a psychopath. So why don't you analyse that? The hypocrisy there, you can sit down, have a big massive platter of seafood, that's probably responsible for a few pounds of plastic in the ocean, right? Murdering other sea life, you know, getting fish lines wrapped around seabirds and killing them and, you know, things like this, but you would yell at me if I even threw this on the floor, let alone in the ocean. Hey brother, how are you? Do you fish? Only amateur. Amateur fishing. Yeah, okay. yeah. So we're just, uh, yeah, we're learning a little bit as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm just wondering about fishing line. Um, fishing line. Yeah. What did I got? Uh... Yes, yeah, so normal fishing line. Uh -huh. Hooks, sink, sinkers. We're just having a look here. Yeah, which... Hook is here. Sinkers, yeah. uh, I got big sinkers there, yeah. small sinkers there, I got some small involved. Can I just look at the hooks? I want the one that's gonna, that's gonna really stab into the face to pull them out. Or the, you know, one that won't, um, the with a good barb on it so that it, they can't escape. Cause I went, last time I went fishing, I caught a fish and they, yeah. they somehow got off the hook and they try to escape off the boat. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what it was with this hook I was using didn't have a proper barb on it, but they somehow got out of the hook. Really? Oh, what kind of fish is that? Snapper. snapper. Little snapper. Ah, okay. Maybe That's it didn't point. hook in properly, but it did get him on the side of the face through uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. But uh, it was my first fish, I was really happy, but then I... Uh, Maybe the side barb is very sharp and cut through open. Ah. Uh, I don't know, my. I mean, there could be many reasons behind that. That doesn't really happen that often. Often. If it happens quite often, then probably there's something. They usually wrong. don't escape. Can't escape. Usually, that's what I've seen. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. it's, yeah. So what do you what do you recommend for like snapper fishing? Oh, snapper fishing. If you ever try, can try always try something like this. I sell to a lot of fishermen for this kind of for snapper. snapper. Yeah, yeah. So this cooks uh, a bag in. Of two hundred pieces. And this is the this is the barb that will stop it from coming out. Why is this for snapper compared to this? Uh, well, I mean, this one I just like I sell to a lot of commercial guys for amateur fishing. Some so, of them, so they like this uh, one. They say it works, so I don't. Know. <laughs> uh, I personally, I'm not. Uh, oh, okay. I just wanna like something like this though. What's this for? Because that one there circle looks hooks. like circle hooks. This is. This, uh, for what type of fish though? This is for uh, a bigger fish. Oh yeah, a bronze, a bronze mountain. Bronze. Yeah, yeah, drop line fishing. Uh, this one uh, is normally from range from 13 to 14, 15 to 16. For the, those those four range is very popular for uh, people go to brown. What so, uh, type of bait do you use for this? Another little fish. I, I, I barely ask what kind of bait they were using, but uh, I, I I believe it's definitely not live because they come drop uh, around 500 meters, 300 yeah. 500 meters. Big sinker, uh, a, 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 a big, big sinker, sinker, electric reels, mm. you know, like uh, you, you aiming for blue eye tri valley and yeah. uh, say John Dory, yeah, or some gem fish, you know, they yeah, these ones are our expertise. We sell not only the hooks, uh, anything make up the rig. I show you the rig, what show us the rig, yeah, because yeah. uh, I lose a lot of like when I first went fishing, I was losing a lot of line, like was snapping in the 
in the ocean. Here, so th this, this this is the typical rig. Look what it looks like. Uh huh. So we sell all the parts. So, so this is a. Uh, why is this highlighted? Is it so the because, fish sees uh, it? Because dark. Because dark. Then you can see your line. Uh, yeah, but it's glowing. When it's glowing, the fish will come. And when there's a, a, a bait, they will bite on. So they yeah. see the this tricks them, and then they think that it's uh, another fish, and yeah. then they can. Yes, yes. Once uh, glow, anything glow in the dark deep sea, they they, they will they, attract they fish coming. That's good. Yeah. So that's that's a typical rig. But if you want to make up your own, we sell all the parts. Yeah. Okay. So we import those parts from Korea. It's that's pretty a, cheap. It's not. It's pretty cheap, really. Yeah. 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 But if you, it's a lot cheaper if you make you can make your own. Rig. Yeah. 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 Or, you know, if you want uh, fishing for marlin or sharks, I got a bigger hooks than that. Uh, for sharks? Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah. the trick of circle hooks, they, they design to catch the leap only. So uh, so they only just, just nick them there and yeah, then they stick yeah. in. That's right. This is like 20 old, 22 old. That's for, so, a, so so for a big comes, animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it comes to the uh, shark competition, those ones move. So. So you you are you up to? How do you trick a shark though? They uh. Oh, they they, they use a tuna blood. So they and, smell. And, uh, they smell. Uh, they smell. They, they think smell. it's a yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. you don't need to trick them with a visual. It's all smell with a shark. Uh, smell, smelly smell. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. they smell the food and yeah. then they. Yeah, but like a great white, they can see as well. I mean, they. Would you so catch a great white with that? Oh, you can. You can. <laughs> so about my customer, he he actually not using a boat. He actually beach fishing. Get a cat a. Got about two, two, four, and five, three meter, uh, you know, the gray white. Yeah. He took a photo and sent it back. Oh, so he dragged it out and then <laughs> threw it back in? Uh, hours fighting, hours. Hours fighting with yeah, the shark, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. So it, well, you gotta be strong a, to, uh, oh, yeah, to wrestle an animal like that. Muscle. <laughs> Big muscles, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, you need a good, sharp fishing knife, don't you? Uh, like, well, to if you want a good knife, this is a normal range. I mean, you, you're looking at a ten dollar, twenty dollar knife. That's this. Mm. But if you want a forty dollar, fifty dollar mark, I just like to. Uh, I don't like him. If you want a good uh, filleting knife, like all the fish mm. market use, mm. or the commercial fishermen use, that that's the knife. That's the Russell. I like one that I can stab him in the head if they're too big and they're running running around on the boat. Uh, like okay. like well, a, a that, that one's a little bit flexy. It's good for filleting. Like this or, one. Yeah, this is yeah. like what they will use. Uh, fishmonger will use to. Well, I, I, I would say best efficient way to kill a sniper or bigger fish, you probably use a spike. A spike? Yeah, yeah. I've seen them with a spike actually. Spike, yeah. yeah. For big fish, but again, small fish, you can just use anything. Anything, just hit, hit, hit him in the head or whatever. Yeah. But this one here is good for uh, tuna, stabbing him. Tuna, so you just grab it like that and you yeah. drive it into the forehead, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've seen the tuna, the bluefin tuna, they have yeah. a spike in their head mm. as well. Yeah, so. Yeah. And some of the commercial guys, they use different, a lot longer and bigger too. So but the, this is good for recreation. Yeah, fish spikes. Yeah. This is exactly where you get them there in the forehead. This is what I was looking for because I was going to use a knife. It's dangerous, man, with a knife. You yeah. cut your finger That's off. That's right. Sometimes the affiliating knife is for affiliating. It's not for... It's the, the, sometimes it's very flexy. And uh, you can... Oh, yeah, yeah. You can just damage the I knife. wouldn't want to do to myself what I would do to the fish. Like, you know what I mean? Mm. So, yeah, no, that's good. Thanks, man. Yeah, no I appreciate your help. Can we just, um, I think what we'll do is we'll grab the, the high vis for now. And Three of them, $126. $42 each for these? Yeah. Why are they so expensive? Oh, sorry, sorry, this is, oh, a table, table, table. Oh, it's probably the wrong one, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, sorry, I, I typed the wrong code. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. No, no, I was freaking out because I... No. I'm sorry, but $15 each. Okay, 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 no, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. that sounds for, a bit... For 45 Because what happened is why, why I took that's, it and yeah. just wrong punch. And it that's cool. No. no, no, that's fine. Another one. It's all good. <laughs> I was going to say, mate, these must be made of gold. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> gold and high vis. <laughs> I haven't got my coffee this morning, man. That's all right, mate. <laughs> we should have brought you one, really. Pretty dangerous being out there on the sea, the fishermen. Oh, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, a lot of fish, you know, you know, but you have to go close to the reef. Yeah, you know, yeah. Sometimes if they, can, they can get sunk. You sunk. Know, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. dangerous. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, a very hard working job. Yeah. I like, well. I just like eating fish too much. Like, I, I really think it's worth it so that I can have some fish. Oh, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, definitely, <laughs> so, definitely. You yeah. Want, you want I'll, I'll, I need fish. Or I'll, I'll, I'll train a local fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch your own is always the best option. I like supporting the, the fish the industry because, yes. yeah, I like the taste. So, mm -hmm. if you guys yeah. uh, want to try, try the blue eye traveli or those John Dory, the local Australian fish, they're beautiful. If yeah. it used to be alive, mm. 
I, I'll eat it, basically. Yeah. Just anything that used to be yeah. alive. 80% of fish import, you know? Yeah, that? yeah. yeah all, well, I'm good. I like to support all fishing farm. all over the world. Yeah. I like it, yeah. Mm. But thank you, brother. Appreciate your time, man. No worries, mate. All right, so here we have uh, on the uh, Sydney fish market grounds here, Vic's Meat Market. So they can't exploit sea animals without having a little bit of a, you know, slaughterhouse for land animals here as well. You know, just. Usually it's the other way around. There's like a bunch of land animals slaughtered and there's a small amount of sea animals. But because we're at the fish market, they've got a complimentary murder facility here for land animals. And look here how they uh, trivialize these non-human animal slaves here by having a little statue of a bull at the front here. You know, how dare, how dare human beings have a statue of a bull that, you know, we cause a mass holocaust to every single year and we dare you know have a little statue of them so we can sell their body parts it's sickening and also just next to the the barbecue here that they will cook their body parts on you know what i'm saying there we go wagyu that's expensive dude 80 dollars a kilo 270 dollars a kilo and they say being vegan's expensive wow that's crazy dude it smells like a slaughterhouse in here. I've been in a slaughterhouse. I know what a slaughterhouse smells like, and it smells like a butcher. What's this Wagyu here? What's this that? this two hundred and seventy dollar a kilo Wagyu. That's Where's that from? Yeah, so it's a Aussie Aussie Wagyu, but it's a full blood, so it's the same breed like a full blood Wagyu, like like a purebred. Yeah. yeah, right. So most that... of the others, like the Rangers Valley, they're generally a Wagyu cross. And that's why you only get the marble score. So most that have a marble score between four and five or five and seven. This is a nine. That's a nine plus, that's right, that's because it's the full blood. So it matters how much, how do they get that fat in there? Is it their diet, what they feed them? So it's partially to do with the diet, also to do just the fact that, so that's just the breed. The cow. breed has more fat in there. They, right. they, so they've been selectively bred like that. Yeah, so you know, you get like Angus beef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, is just another, another like an breed. Angus cow or, yeah, you know, right. Holstein cow. Or, yeah. Wagyu cow. And so that, that's what makes Wagyu so particular. They're from Japan, eh? Yeah. Originally, they bred that. Yeah. I, I heard in Japan they massage the cows, insert, like, to make them... Possibly. Like, like uh, they have, like, a massage parlor for the cows to relax them before they get slaughtered and that. I don't know about that, but look, it very well could be true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, so often people actually massage the meat... After. After it, that's right, once it's been slaughtered and produced. Because you would think when they get slaughtered, they might tense up a little bit, eh? Yeah, there's a lot of myths that they do. Um, if they're cooked correctly, they shouldn't. They shouldn't know about it anyway. Yeah, yeah that's right. It should be humane in that regard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's all right. No, thanks for that, man. I'm enlightened. I don't, I don't, I haven't got a house loan to put out on that yet. <laughs> but when I do, we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Check that out. Big side. That's a pig. There. That's the entire, that's the entire, that's both sides. Oh baby, that's a midsection of the pig. And these are lamb shanks or basically the, the leg here for a roast. Pork belly. It's all free range, see? Free range. They've even got Wagyu sausages. Cheers buddy. Feeling hungry? And then we can actually, from the uh, little slaughterhouse butcher here, go straight across next door and have them fry up that body part and just to put in between two pieces of bread. So it was very interesting how like the topic of the slaughter come up and you said there's, very, there's a lot of myths surrounding whether the animal gets scared before slaughter, but if it's done properly, they shouldn't know about it. Like, well, you know, when an animal's walked into like a blood field facility, you know, and uh, they hear machinery, they hear the sounds of other cows um, being scared. Uh, usually, they know something bad's about to happen to them, that's for sure, you know what I mean? So, I mean, and yeah, you could probably kill a, an animal without them knowing, but as soon as that bolt goes through their head and they get stunned, they rush adrenaline through their body, don't they? Because uh, they're not instantly, you know, stunned straight away. It's like a, it's a bit of a process, you know what I mean? A lot of cows are stunned ineffectively. But um, just interesting, that topic of humane slaughter comes up and uh, <laughs> it's almost like the fairy tale starts. It's like, hey. 
And what about that pig that was hanging from there? Was that, was that pig humane slaughtered as well? You know, that half a pig's body? Humane slaughtered in a gas chamber usually? Yeah? Okay. Seen a gas chamber lately? We'll flash one up right here, but yeah. This is like a prison for the animals. What's interesting is people will pay to go and see these animals, but they'll then go into a restaurant and pay for other sea animals to be murdered. Yes. You get your, yeah, some cows that have been killed in a slaughterhouse, you get the iron from their blood. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel about that? How do you feel like, about it? Not the best. 